Okay, today we're sending logs from AWS EC2 instances into CloudWatch and getting alarms and all that stuff. So let's let's get started. Hey there, this is Tom, Tom Stack Show, and um, I was tasked to be able to pull logs and application logs, get the the data from some logs out of an EC2 instance, push them into CloudWatch, and then based on words like in the log like if you want to find the word error you want to find the word can't connect different things like that and then if those words appear in the log then you send an alert out so that people can go react and be able to get into the system and see what's going on kind of be proactive about things like that so uh, what's involved in that is we need to number one set up CloudWatch agent on our EC2 instance to send the logs. So then once we get the logs going to CloudWatch, then we configure what they call a filter. And this filter, uh, we use it to just set a value in uh, a metric value. So after we get that done, then based on that metric value that we create from the filter, boom, we create an alarm based on, on whatever might might happen from that. Okay. So first of all, we need to, we have a file here. Uh, it's a, uh, a JSON file and we put this onto our EC2 instance. So we already have here, we're already collecting some other me measurements like disk space is free, uh, how much memory is free, uh, what the CPU is, th things like that. We're already getting some of those. So we need to come down to the bottom and add a section for logs. So all we need to do is to add this, this logs area, logs collected, files, collect list uh, to the JSON file. And then we end up with our file path to our logs, the log group name, because we have to put them into a group and then the log stream name, which I typically use the server name as the log stream. So we're combining things. We're taking this log file. We're setting it to a group of logs in CloudWatch. And that inside that will be the server that we're pulling the pushing the logs to. So that all kind of combines. Once we get that and put that file onto our EC2 instance, we run a command. And this command is a PowerShell command. Um, that so you have to run PowerShell administrator mode and then run this command this Amazon CloudWatch agent CTL PS1 append config uh, on an EC2 instance and then we're going to have the file be our config.json the new configuration file that we're adding uh, to the system we run this file this and then that dynamically adds the log ability to CloudWatch and is able to push the logs to the system. Okay, so now we come here and we look and we see that there, it starts running and we give it a minute or two. Usually it only takes, last time I, I did it, it only took about 30 seconds to get these logs started into a log group. So we see I have my log group. I have a couple of filters set up for other testing, but so we have this my, group called my logs. Okay, so then we create a filter. Let's create a filter. So we go in and we create a filter and I'm gonna filter on error. The, if I see the word, the text error anywhere in this log, I wanna send an alert. I want there to be, you know, I wanna know about it. Okay, so we do that, we click next and then we jump over to, and it's this, uh, if you see in, let's see. So we go to next, that's fine. So there'll be, the metric namespace here, that's what I was doing. The metric namespace that we want to call it, like I'm calling this my log feed, is when we're in the metrics area, we'll see a namespace, custom namespace here called my log feed. It'll be right next to the, the CloudWatch agent namespace feed. So um, it'll it's usually listed on the top and we'll need to see that later on. Okay, so we're going to create a metric here. We're going to call it error check. And then we're gonna call it, uh, set it up as metric namespace as my log feed. And the metric name of the metric is error on test server. So if it sees in the filter, there's an error, it's gonna push that 
and we're going to see the error on things. So down here towards the bottom of this screen in the metric details, so we have my log feed error. If the metric, if the metric value published to the metric name when the filter pattern occurs. So if it sees error, it's going to publish to the metrics. It's going to publish a one. If there's no error within the window that we're using, then it's going to publish a zero. So the graph will end up being just no error, boom, error, then go for probably a minute and then go down to back to no error again. So you, you'll get an alert and then a recovery. Okay, so we click next on that screen and it gives us a, a chance to review the information and we say create metric filter. Okay, so now we want to create an, an alarm. So we go up to CloudWatch alarms in the screen and we start by selecting the metric. So when we go into metrics, we come down and we see the my log feed area in the metric we're trying to select. And there'll be a section that says metric with no dimensions. Okay. So then we click on the error on test server, which is the metric that we're, we're going to be setting up, select the metric. And then it comes back to this screen here and shows us we have we're in my log feed namespace we have error on test server now what we want to do for this the statistics on this is set it to maximum because if we try and do an average then it'll be kind of floating the line will be kind of floating we want this to be clear we want this to be either how we have the error or we don't have the error so i'm going to set this to maximum and then i'm going to set the period is of one minute so if i get the error then it's going to send me an alert. Then within the next minute, if it goes away, then I'm going to get the clear message. So that's kind of what I want. I want it to be really hard. I don't want it to be like a five minute or 10, 10 15 minute average over anything. No, nope. We just want this to be clear on, off, on, off. That's all we want. Okay. So now down on the bottom of the create metric, this create alarm here, we're going to say if my value is greater than zero. So at any time this point even gets to be 0.1, it, the error happened one time and it's just barely anything, but it's it still happened, then it's gonna be greater than zero and boom, we're gonna send the alarm. Okay, so down at the bottom, we have another decision to make, which is the additional configuration on this screen, which is uh, whether to treat missing data as breaching the threshold or not. Sometimes in these log uh, files, when they get sent, if there's no change in the log for a really long time, it seems like the data doesn't get updated and populated. So it only triggers to create the alarm when data is being fed in. And if your alarm is not, if your log file is not sending any data, like you're not building any data in your log, like you have a one minute or five minute status that gets put into the log. It just sits there until something happens. Um, then no data may go in and the data in the metric may say, I don't know what's going on. So you can either treat that as an alarm or you can treat it as just missing. I know it's good. I haven't hit the message for being an error. So here we're going to treat it just as, as being okay. We just know we just don't have that message. So we click next. Okay, then we create a an alarm. So we're using a simple notification service to send an email. And then when it's in alarm, we say, send me an email. And then we go to the, we add, click add notifications because that's an, that's an error message. So then we want to add another notification, which is the okay message. So once we get an okay, then it's going to send out a message that says it went from alarm to okay. And that's what we want. So because we want to know when it's an alarm, we want to know when it's not an alarm anymore, when it's okay. All right. So then we go to the next screen. It says, give it a name, give it a description, click next. And then the final is a review screen and you can just create the alarm. So when the alarm goes off, in this case, you'll get an error message kind of like this. This is just copied from the, te the text of the typical alarm message. And it's going to say, it went from okay to alarm and that you should probably go check it out. That's what we want to go. We want to see that. Okay, this triggered. Boom, let's go get that. So, so those are all the steps that you need to do. Um, I have this working on quite a few servers and uh, it's working really well. We're getting messages and, and everything in 
AWS from you know, logs coming in and hitting those filters. You can create more than one filter on the same metric if you want to find uh, more uh, values. Like there's several different values. You can set the alarms up to send those to different people. Uh, it's pretty configurable for what you want to be able to do with the CloudWatch alarm based on text in a log file, all right? Oh, well, that was, it takes a little bit to set up. Once you get in through there, clicking everything, once you get the log moving over, um, it really kind of flows after that. But you're combining a lot of different parts. You're combining, you know, the CloudWatch agent uh, on the box to, you know, the log feed inside of AWS, then creating that filter off of it, and then finally creating the alarm off of that. So it, it really daisy chains a couple of different things together that just like, I hope this works. <laughs> kind of thing but it came through works really well and has been working quite well so if you have any questions about how this is set up this gets a little bit crazy difficult trying to connect all the little lego pieces together but uh, go ahead and comment down below if you have any more questions about it and uh, i'll be sure to get back to you all right thanks for watching have a great day take care bye